In today's video, I'm gonna show you how covering the ball with your trail side impact is really gonna help you maintain your spine angle and improve your quality of contact. Make sure you check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You join me, John Watts, today in our indoor golf studio. And today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all gonna be about improving your impact position. How getting and focusing on this trail shoulder moving down towards the ball is really gonna help you maintain your spine angle and improve your quality of contact. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, I'd love you guys to consider subscribing. The info for me just come along the bottom of the screen right now. Hit that little bell icon and it can just notify you every time a new video goes live. Right now, we're gonna jump into this one. So in today's video, as I mentioned there, we're gonna be talking about improving your quality of contact, improving your impact. And I'm gonna jump straight into an exercise that I really want you to do. It's an awesome at-home exercise, but it's something you could do on the golf course between swings to get the feeling of improving your impact, covering the golf ball with this trail side. So my trail side is just the side of my body furthest away from the target. And I want you, especially with your irons, to get that sensation that we're actually covering the ball and getting our trail side moving down over the golf ball. So what we want at impact, to be in a good impact position, is by the time we strike the golf ball, we want the center of our hips, our pelvis here, and the center of my upper body, my sternum, just a little bit ahead and a little bit more rotated open past the golf ball. So slightly ahead of the ball, and then actually rotated to be open towards the target. And I want to really try and maintain my spine angle into impact. So a fault we see with many who struggle at impact is they get this sort of impact position where the pelvis is moving forwards, the upper body is moving up, the head often moves away from the golf ball, and they'll struggle to get quality of contact from there. So the sensation, and this really is important with irons in particular, is that we're getting our trail side feeling like it's moving down towards the golf ball. So as an exercise, I'd set up as normal. Then in your lead hand, just sort of feel like you're pushing down on the top of the golf club. I'm not getting it vertical, but I'm definitely getting it up there up to sort of 70, 80 degrees. And then with my trail hand just hanging, I'm gonna make a backswing, but I wanna feel like I return it impact and almost get my trail hand looking like it's going down towards the ball. As my trail side hand and shoulder move downwards, you will start to see from this angle, my lead side is actually moving up. And as it moves up, it will rotate inwards. And that's what we want to impact, because a lot of golfers are worried, well, if this side is moving down towards the ball, why aren't I gonna catch it heavy? Why aren't I gonna fat it? And the reality is our hands actually reach their lowest point of their swing, which I've talked about in many of my videos. They reach their lowest point of the, of the golf swing at the last parallel position here. So from that position into impact, even though the club is still moving downwards, my handle is moving slightly upwards and slightly inwards in an ideal world to give us this nice arc shape into the golf ball. Now, this hand, this trail hand, sorry, lead hand here is moving up and inwards because my lead side is moving up and inwards. So as my trail side moves down towards the golf ball, automatically you're gonna get the feel when you do this exercise that your lead side is moving up and clearing space. And that's an amazing feel. I talked about maintaining posture, definitely does that. Definitely helps quality of contact, but it's a big power source as well because we know we create more power using those rotational forces rather than just a linear force. You know, we'll not kick a, a football as far that way as we would with some side on rotation. We can triple our speed. We're perhaps not gonna triple our speed in golf. Well, I guess we would if we talked about a pure linear movement, which would almost be like a, a croquet movement to a golf swing movement, there definitely is that huge increase of power. So I'm gonna get that feel, and this is something you could do between shots on the course. Just push down with your lead hand, get that feeling that your trail hand is moving down towards the golf ball here, and I'm really getting that sensation. As this happens, my lead side is moving up 
and clearing behind me. Then just put that into a little feel. So get into that delivery position here. Again, get that feeling, your trail hand almost moving down towards the golf ball. My lead side is clearing some space and moving up and inwards. I'm a big fan of hitting some. If you're on the range, just into a delivery position here, a little pump drill, and just get that sensation. Trail side moving down, lead side moving up and behind me. So I'm just holding that position, just post impact. And I feel like I've got a lot of side bend here as my trail side moved down towards the ball and my lead side did the opposite, extended and rotated open. Obviously we wouldn't be holding that position. Our body will fully extend on the way through. But when you're trying to feel impact, I would definitely encourage you to make some movements where we're actually just stopping almost that first parallel position on the way through, just to get that sensation of what impact was like. But I love that drill of pushing down. You could, if you had a, a problem with your almost hands getting too high into impact, you could do that same exercise. But rather than pushing down on the handle there, drop the handle a little bit lower and try and get the sensation of your trail hand actually getting underneath the grip hard to keep this completely level but almost underneath the grip here to feel like I've got low hands rather than my hands getting high. Often our hands are getting high as a result of loss of posture again in the downswing. So it's a great sensation to improve your content. Let me hit one more full one having had that feeling of my trail side moving down towards the golf ball and my lead side getting open into impact. Just gonna catch, I think, a little bit of the right edge of the green. Maybe a little bit better than that. Actually, wasn't far off there. Good quality of contact, decent distance control. Obviously, I picked my six iron here for about a 180 shot. It's flown all that distance, which is telling me I'm controlling strike. I'm getting the same amount of loft that I wanted impact consistently. You've seen the two full shots I hit there flew about the same distance. That's a big telltale sign that you're delivering with a similar angle of attack, with a similar dynamic loft, and we're getting the strike in a similar position. If you're varying flights and trajectories and distance control, we know that impact isn't consistent enough, and this drill is really gonna help you get those feels. As I mentioned at the start there, if it has helped, I'd love to hear from you guys, so hit the thumbs up, put some comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.